Yes. So, you know what I love about your story? You start <laughs> something and you've got hundreds of orders. Quickly. Oh yeah, thousands of orders. No, but right when you started, right within out of the a day, gate. twenty-four hours, thirty thousand dollars in sales. Explain this to me. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know how to explain it. Well, I can. Okay, <laughs> I can explain it. Okay, tell me. You, you tapped into something. <laughs> sure. That people wanted. Okay. Hello. Yeah. All right. Okay, it, I'll take it, it. But it happened quickly. Happened very quickly. Which is a rarity. Which is a blessing and a curse because you don't know what you're doing and you thought, I, I thought I was going to have a very different life, but then you have to show up to work because you got, okay. you have $30,000 of sales you've got to all of a sudden fulfill. So I don't, I don't want to call it like the fake it till you make it thing, but what Yeah, you, what no, I still fake it until I am well, still wake, waiting to make it. <laughs> what you said is, is true, you know, you, you tap into yeah. something, you, you are fortunate enough to <laughs> achieve success relatively yeah. early. So let's back up a second. Sure. How did you start working with balloons? Oh, well, you know, I had bought a balloon that was 36 inches um, off the internet on an Etsy account in 2007. Okay. And I thought it was so precious. It was like $10 for a balloon. Like, that's a lot of money for one single balloon. I kept it in my, like, my craft closet. And then um, I decided that I was going to finally inflate it in 2000. Nine or t 2010, so it's been in there for a few years. I bring it to the party store. I'm living in Seattle at the time, which is where I'm from. I inflate it for my f best friend's birthday. I show up to the restaurant. It's a big hit, but it's not just a balloon I've created. I decided to put something off of the balloon because the balloon itself was like so huge. It was like kind of bizarre and awkward to walk around as a single element. So I thought, let's add some stuff. So I started creating like this tassel that hung down for like three or four feet. And when you have a balloon that's 36 inches, yeah. it can hold so much weight because that's all this compress. I know everything about balloons and helium. Like I'm very smart in the science of helium and that, that, um, that, uh, what, uh, element alone. But, uh, so I show up to the restaurant, it's this big glass restaurant. So I have to like walk across the restaurant I have to walk inside, and of course I'm the first person, right? So I walk into the restaurant, and everyone stops, and they're like, what is going on? Who is this woman? Why is she carrying this big balloon? Is it going to explode? The birthday girl comes in all night long. People stop by, and they're like, well, we have to talk about this thing that's, like, looming over everyone. And everyone loved it but it was an it was a response and and so my friend who was having a birthday made all these new friends everyone is really curious they're part of our evening we walk around town it's with her everywhere she goes it's like this performance art it's this way of saying like it's my birthday it's life it's a celebration it's a day